Better versus best, mastering comparative and superlative forms of good and well. Hello everyone, welcome back to our Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we are going to dive into the fascinating world of adjectives and adverbs, focusing on the comparative forms of two very common, but often misused words, good, and, well. As always, we'll highlight the key points to remember in bold. To understand their comparative forms, we first need to clarify what good and well mean. Good is an adjective, and it's used to describe nouns or pronouns. For example, she is a good student. Well, on the other hand, is an adverb, and it describes verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. For example, he performs well in tests. When we compare two things, we use the comparative form. The comparative form of good is better and of well is also better. That's right, they share the same comparative form. To use better with good, we might say, she is a better student than her brother. Here, we're comparing her to her brother. When we use better with well, we could say, he performs better in tests than his classmates. In this case, we're comparing his performance to that of his classmates. One common mistake is using good or well instead of better when comparing. For example, she is a good student than her brother is incorrect. Always remember to use better when making comparisons. As a bonus, let's briefly touch on the superlative forms. The superlative form is used when we're comparing more than two things. For good, the superlative form is best, and for well, it is best, again. For instance, she is the best student in her class. Here, we're comparing her to all other students in her class. Or, he performs the best in all of his classes. In this sentence, we're comparing his performance to that of all other students in his classes. Alright, that wraps up our lesson on the comparative and superlative forms of good and well. I hope this has helped clarify when to use good, well, better, and best. Remember, practice makes perfect, so try using these in your day-to-day -day English. See you in our next video, where we will tackle more confusing adjectives and adverbs. Happy learning!